So if you watch my other videos, you know that I really believe in you being able to create your own website as a small business owner. And with all the themes, templates, and page builders being so available to all of us, it's really never been any easier to do that. But one drawback of this, if you wanna call it a drawback, is that websites can all start to have a sameness to them, which I really don't think is the end of the world. You know my opinion by now that it's the content on your site that's gonna do the selling for you and help your business grow. But I also know some of you still want something more unique that doesn't feel like a template. So I wanted to make this video to show you how easy it actually is to add a few well-placed elements to your site, to your, you know, a template or page builder site to make it feel just a little bit more special for just you and your business. And of course, whenever you use a theme or a page builder, you're already customizing the fonts and the colors and images you use, so it's already gonna be pretty custom. But what I'm gonna go over today, or even beyond that level of customization, if you wanted to go there. Now, most of what I'm gonna talk about can probably be accomplished in just about any theme or web builder, but I happen to love using WordPress with the Elementor page building plugin, which is completely free. And I love it because it comes with a ton of amazingly useful features and you really can create just about anything using it. So everything we talk about, I'm gonna show you how you can easily do it inside of Elementor. And by the end of this video, you're gonna have the best of both worlds, right? A really easy to create website that you can always update yourself and that wow factor that's gonna set you apart from your competition. So let's jump into the first easy customization you can make. Um, I wanna talk about upgraded icons. So as much as I love Elementor, the icons it comes with out of the box, pretty basic, right? Sure, you can set the color and choose if they're placed on a circle or a square, but that's pretty much it. But you don't have to use these. In fact, one of the easiest ways to add some personality to your site is to just find an icon pack that has some personality. You just need to look through all the choices and see what fits your branding best. So I've got a free and a paid option for you here. So, so if you wanna find some free icons, you can try the website iconfinder.com, then search either by keyword for the exact icon you're looking for, like credit card or light bulb, or you could try searching by your industry. Then you just apply the free filter to get rid of the ones you have to pay for. Um, this might take a little bit of time to find the best ones, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and once you find the one you like, you're just gonna wanna see if it has others in the same set. So I highly recommend always choosing icons from the same set so you know they match each other. I've seen this go very wrong when I look at someone's website and they've basically chosen three different icons in three different styles. Um, and honestly, that's way worse than just going with the more boring ones that come with Elementor. So if you're gonna do this, do it right and pick them from the same set or at least hopefully from the same artist in roughly the same style. Then within Icon Finder, you can actually edit the colors if you wanted to do that and then download each of them. And finally, just pop them into your page in Elementor in place of those existing icons. And if you want more options, that same website, iconfinder.com, has a ton that you can actually pay for. Uh, most are about two to three bucks each, or you could go to a different stock website like stock.adobe.com and search for your industry name plus the word icons and just see what you find. So these are mostly gonna be really expansive icon packs with lots of choices. Um, it's really just a matter of finding the style you like and then making sure it includes the specific icons that you need. So once you find the right pack, I do recommend buying it and downloading it in a vector file format. That way, the colors can be changed if you wanted them to be. So from there, if you can do the edits and break the individual icons out individually yourself, go for it. Otherwise, go to fiverr.com and just pay someone five bucks to take your vector file, um, apply your brand colors, and save the individual icons you need as separate image files. And if you wanna be even more custom, you can actually get animated icons or animated illustrations to use anywhere on your site for that matter. So if you go to the website lottiefiles.com, you can find thousands of free and paid illustrations. Um, these are called Lottie files, I'm not sure why, I guess it doesn't matter. And everything I said about the static icons still applies here. You wanna choose wisely 
and if you're getting more than one, make sure they're done in the same overall style if you want it to look professional. And yes, you can change the colors in these animated illustrations, but it's much more complicated. And again, I would probably recommend hiring someone on Fiverr who can handle that for you. So these range from free to uh, looks like around eight bucks for most of them. And you can use these as those benefit icons or just around your site in place of photos. Um, when you choose the right animations, this is a really cool way to bring a bit of fun and personality to your site. Okay, my next tip for making your site feel more customized is to swap out standard squared off images with more organic shaped images. Again, this just adds a little personality, a little more friendliness, and it doesn't really take much to pull off either. You can just crop your photos into an organic shape like this, or get a little crazy and even have it morph and animate. So how do you actually do something like this? You or your designer can either just make the image the old fashioned way with Photoshop, or you know, you can hire someone on Fiverr for cheap to do it for you, or you can do it yourself with one additional WordPress plugin. So just download and install the Unlimited Elements for Elementor plugin and make sure that you import in the blob widget. That's the one we'll be using. So then when you go into Elementor, you just search for the blob widget, drag it wherever you want, choose the blob shape. They give you a bunch of options. There are about 20 of them plus the option to animate it, which I think is pretty cool, you know, for the right kind of business. Then you just want to replace the image, play around with the sizing and the overlay color. So you can do a gradient, a solid color, or no color overlay at all. This is just a super modern, unique, and more fun way to use photos on your site. And speaking of photos, another way of making them feel much more custom, even if they are indeed stock, is to layer subtle illustrations on top of your photos. So they can be doodles, sketches, abstract shapes, pretty much anything, but I do recommend going simple here, light touch. Let's not go into full on Roger Rabbit territory with cartoon characters uh, interacting with your photos. Um, I do really just like to use a great photo that maybe is meant to show how happy your clients feel after they've worked with you and then just add a simple doodle to it to show their excitement or help visually show how they're feeling. And again, if you don't know how to do this yourself, if you don't have the right software or whatever, just go to Fiverr. And I do want to stress here, I'm mentioning Fiverr a lot. I'm in no way sponsoring Fiverr. I just think it's a great resource to get these kind of really small uh, production design files done for you. Just make sure you give them clear instructions on what you want. And it's usually best to bring them the exact photo you want and the exact illustrated element you want too. So just go to the website freepick.com slash free photos vectors slash doodle. And I'm gonna leave that link in the description below. Um, and that's where you can find the element or elements you want, download it and hand it over to your designer telling them where you want it any color preferences, all that good stuff. Then you just upload the finished photo you get back from your designer into your website like any other photo. So you could even upload a super simple Lottie animation on top of a photo if you wanted to get crazy. Another really easy way to make your site feel more custom is to just swap out a background image for a video. I love doing this in a top hero section or in any page section where you might use a background photo and Elementor honestly makes this incredibly easy. So first of all, you could make your own video or you could just find something that works on YouTube. And I know you're thinking it, so is it legal to use other people's YouTube videos on your own website? The short answer is yes. So when anyone uploads their video to YouTube, they do grant YouTube a non-exclusive license to it, meaning it's pretty much free and fair to embed it from a legal perspective. However, I still like to be ethical about doing this and I always search for royalty-free stock videos since they put them up there for that exact purpose. So if you want a cool office setting, just search for office stock video royalty-free or a family relaxing at home, try family at home royalty free stock video. You get the idea. Um, then go through the results and find either a whole video, which can be hard. A lot of times the whole video isn't great, or at least you wanna find a 15 to 30 second clip inside any video that fits your tone and doesn't have any kind of text 
written on top of it. That's important. Once you find the video and the clip inside of it that you like, just copy the URL, go into Elementor, and swap out your photo background for video, then paste that URL into the field and specify the time codes of where you want the video loop to start and stop. Now this works best when it's limited to a single static shot with limited movement. So if the camera's moving all over the place and there's too many quick cuts, it's gonna be really distracting, which is definitely going to work against your messaging. Remember, anything we do here should be all about enhancing your content, not pulling focus away from it. And Motion's a great way to customize any website and make it feel more interesting and unique. And Elementor has a pretty cool feature called entrance animation. So you can apply these to just about any widget, column, or section on your website so that they animate in when you scroll down to it. And the cool thing is you can specify any of these animations. So they can slide in from any direction. They can zoom in, they can bounce in, rotate in. Just play around with it and find what works best for you, but a warning. Now a warning? Don't go nuts here on this or any of these tricks that I'm showing you. I'm just showing you what's possible. I am not telling you to use all of these and I'm not telling you to start animating in every single image and text block on your whole site. It's best to be more conservative with these elements and always remember when it comes to design, less is almost always more. Now, if you want a complete picture of what you need for a super custom automated client generating website, nothing is gonna get you up and running faster than my free masterclass training the wildly profitable one weekend website blueprint. So just click here and I'll show you the content you need to get together and how to use Elementor and bring it all to life in a single weekend. So just click right here and I'll see you on the inside.